All right. I don't know if anybody out there cares what's going on with my Shapeway shop where I sold the replacement uh, VF1 and VF0 parts, but I've got a new thing out that everyone can buy. So if you're one of those lucky people who own a Yamato 115th scale Garland, the original one, not the Proto Garland, and I guess this also accounts for the factory color, well, that was the silver one, and the military color that was the greenish one, you probably had an issue where the bar that held the arms on broke at the tip. And this happened even on the replacements that Yamato sent me. Although to be fair, that was years and years later. So yeah. Excuse me. So yeah, these are uh, bits of metal, but the tip would break off because apparently they use some cheap ass die cast. Regardless, I've recreated them using Shapeways. And I actually did this all by myself, so I feel so proud. All right, so these are gonna, I'm gonna put links in the bottom. Uh, they're already up there on Shapeways, but I'll just show you real quick. If you know this toy, you know that the arms are actually pegged in. Actually, they're not pegged in, they're just magnetized in. Some magnets in there. Which uh, actually meant that for the longest time, even though the toy was broken, it would still stay together. Because the magnets do most of the work on this toy. Okay. I was like, I had to fix the little silver thingy that goes in there. Alright, just to show you guys, here is the deal. I've recreated both the left and the right shoulder strut. Little tight on this one. This one was the original and this is the newest one that I've made. Okay, so I f this one actually works really good on this side. All you have to do to replace these is you just take out this screw. This one's so tight so I didn't put the screw back in. Take out this screw, take off the broken part, and then you just put it onto the part here. And uh, you can just grab the thing. Whatever, you get the idea. <laughs> yeah, so it just goes on the, the front here. Just kind of push it in there. The only thing, though, is that... Uh, there may be some bits of the original metal stuck right in here. All you have to do is take like a small nail, like, say, this, and just poke it through. It'll come out, it won't damage the remaining... Uh, this plastic part here. So yeah, this all works pretty well. It still works in, uh, in robot mode, the maneuver slave. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm pretty happy that these work. And these are about uh, around 450 each if you get them uncolored and unpolished. Uh, I did buy one. As you can see, I bought one with the red coloring. That's a leftover Easter color. <laughs> Thanks, Shapeways. But yeah. Although I have found uh, somebody to tell me, or if I saw somebody talking about this with regards to the. Let me just put this back in. The bike position. Uh, with regards to the VF0 parts. Like they could, they wanted to get them in gray, but Shapeways had discontinued the gray. But what I have found that you can just take a Sharpie. And you can totally just color these in. Yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> this is if you're lazy. I mean, these parts aren't really external except in the robot mode. Yeah, so uh, you can color them in with uh, a Sharpie. Or you can use acrylic paint. Apparently people have been using uh, enamel paint on them, but... I'm just going with what Shapeway says. It's like, you should use enamel or acrylic paint on these. It's like, why? It's like, because it'll explode or something if you use enamel paint. It's like, ah. It's like, okay, Shapeways. It's a done deal. So, um, people have been asking me if I'll do the Proto Garland. I don't own one. If someone wants to donate one to science, I will attempt to do it up. Uh, people asked me in the past if I was working on the YF-19 and I actually did. Start working on the YF-19. Yamato is 160 scale YF-19. This is the part that goes inside the neck. 
and this is the part that kept breaking, disintegrating, whatever. I uh, recreated it in Shapeways. Um, needs a little work, but I'm on the right track, I think. Maybe we need just like one more revision. Oh yeah, going pretty well. Not too bad for a guy who's just working with Google SketchUp and uh, store-bought caliper. All right, one last thing I want to plug, because hey, it's my Shapeway store. I did this, I just thought this would be a cool idea. Um, I made little heel struts. <laughs> no, that's not good. I want to show this thing balancing. So I made little heel, heel struts for your masterpiece seekers. <laughs> yeah, works okay. This is, uh, I figured, what's like, well, the new, like, MP11 based ones, they have those flip out heel struts, but I couldn't actually figure out a way to engineer something to go in there. So I just, like, yeah, just. <laughs> well, that doesn't work too well. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you gotta have confidence in your own product. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. You can put your old MP seekers in a slightly wider stance and, uh, well, with like all the crap in the back facing <laughs> swept towards the back that's kind of why he's kind of that's why he's top heavy because all the stuff is pointing backwards but you know so you just want him to stand and he will stand much better now so that's pretty cool I thought it was a good idea so uh, this has been Andrew again doing stuff for Doing stuff with Shapeways, not really for Shapeways. Everyone can do stuff for Shapeways. So yeah, uh, cool thing. There are going to be links on the bottom. So again, uh, let me just actually clarify one thing. Oh, I have these robots here. Okay. So uh, one thing I want to clarify. Uh, this, the part on this side. Okay, if you're facing, you're looking at the robot from the bottom. This is going to be the left part, and this is the right part. We're doing this based if you're looking down at it. Okay, I have handy little arrows pointing out which one on uh, each Shapeways page. If you just need one, or if you need two, just buy both of them. There's a left and, again, left, right, left, right. Still, pretty cool, and it does transform back into robot mode. Might need to sand a little things, uh, a couple little bits I mean a tiny bit of sanding that's just because shave ways isn't perfect again though it's cool I got the toy working again that's kind of neat you know we can finally do this and uh, I love 80s mecha design because everything on these toys is designed with tiny struts that move huge ass parts anyway see you guys hopefully I can find more stuff to fix because it's fun <laughs>